Good morning, everyone. I just had a rough start to the day. I was going to take garbage out, and as I'm going down the elevator, because the garbage is on the uh, in the garage area, the power went out, uh, which was fine. It only went out for like 15 minutes, but it came on, and it was the most terrifying, chirping, screeching, jerking noise that I've ever heard in an elevator. Uh, and then the kicker is I get down there, and the trucks had already come today to take the garbage away, so I have to wait. I have to take the garbage all the way back up after all that. Uh, which means I wasn't able to get done everything I wanted to get done this morning. But that's okay. I'll take the L for the morning. I'm going to take a couple W's in the afternoon and evening, and that will even things out at least a little bit. Um, the only thing that freaked me out, I had the dishwasher going when the power went out. Hopefully it's fine. I don't know. Uh, I didn't want to open it and check, so I just hit start again. I, I don't know how, how dishwashers handle power outages. I just, I'm not, I, I never had that scenario occur. So hopefully it's all good. I just had to go and get Beaver Buzz, and it is so windy that I was getting like taken away. And it was so much fun, and I was listening to St. Vincent, and I was just running around. My hair was going everywhere, the wind and the sound. It was so good. It was like, I needed that. And it's, cool but still has that summer feeling it was very nice very very nice and now i have all this energy and i'm like cleaning a bunch which is good because i was just sitting here i got home at like just after 7 30 and I, was, I had my some food and i was just chilling and i was like i have no energy i am so tired and then i went out and did that and i was like "Woo! this is great so i did dishes laundry uh cleaned i'm gonna vacuum a little bit too and it's also nice because uh, Roger has pizza, so I don't have to. I don't have to cook dinner. Also, um, I thought, hey, my hair has been so naughty lately that I needed to cut it, and I had given it like a tiny trim, like maybe an inch, probably about an inch. And I was like, yeah, I should, uh, should do it again because it's just so sad. But I, I cut a little bit too much off. But I kept it so that I can use it for something later so anyway this is what it looks like so it, it's cute it's it's just if it was a little shorter it would have been at that awkward length so it's fine i actually really like this length on me and i like this length on me too but roger doesn't like it he likes the long hair so i think this is as short as i'm gonna go but it, it feels a lot nicer i can run my fingers through it so hopefully that'll be healing for this sad 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 hair it's very dry out the summer made it so dry. Uh. Okay, I just got home. All right, so uh, I was just telling Kate that I've had this belt for 10 years now. And if you've ever seen me with a belt on, this is the belt. I only have one belt. Uh, but there's actually a story about this. And it's a nice belt. It's just like a cheap, got it for 20 bucks from H&M. What? Uh, way back. The, the like ring, like the holes aren't even stretched. I know. So, uh, the reason this belt is actually kind of super special to me, when I was 20 years old, I was like poorer than poor. Uh, I couldn't afford to move away from uh, my mom's place. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I had two pairs of pants, and they were both so loose on me because I, I had started to lose weight that. I had to walk around town with my hands in my pocket so my pants wouldn't fall down. And the pants were also searing at the end because I'd step on them and they ripped. So they, uh, it was baggy, ripped pants. And I was convincing myself, like, I don't look homeless. I, I can't look homeless. Like, that's, I'm holding my pants up. How could that look bad in any way? Uh, but in reality, I did look homeless, and I, I kind of deep down knew, and I had like an old leather jacket. So here I am walking Big around. Big bearded boy. Big bearded 20-year-old <laughs> with baggy pants, hands in pocket, leather jacket. I, I visibly looked homeless. And I remember that it, it was actually, it, it was depressing. Walking around like that and having to put my hands in my pockets just to walk. It didn't feel good. I was always uncomfortable. I only ever wanted to go out like late, late at night because of it. And then one day I was going through junk drawers and I found a card for H&M. 
And I asked my mom if there was anything left on that card, because it would be cool if there was. And she goes, I don't know. Uh, why don't you go check? So there I am, going to a really nice mall, in my baggy, ripped up pants, stained white t-shirt. And I go to H&M and I go, hey, uh, could you check how much is on this for me? And there was fifty four dollars. Fifty four? How'd your mom not know? That's I so don't much know. Money. Uh, so for me, at the like that, that was like, I felt like I had just won the lottery. Yeah. Like That's legit, so that was such a huge amount of money for me at the time, and I was like, and I, I, I can spend it on clothes. Like there's, I don't have an obligation to spend this money on food or anything. I can just get myself clothes. So I get a pair of pants that fits, and I get that belt and I get these gold suede gloves that were in the discount bin I'm like these are sick I get a white t-shirt and I get a white dress shirt and I put the outfit together and I'm like I felt like um the protagonist of like uh I felt like maybe Hugh, Hugh Grant like I bet that's that's what it felt like to me I felt like a rom-com like, like, finally, I'm all put together. I'm put together. I'm all dressed up, looking good. I'm just on the town. And the gold gloves, they felt so rich and fancy to me. They felt so fancy. I was like, people are going to think that I'm money. And I spend, I think the total came to like 51 something. I'm like, oh my God. I walked out. I oh, threw no. <laughs> my pants into the trash. And I walked out there like six inches taller, having that belt cinched up, having pants that fit not having to have my hands in my pocket, walking around, I'm making eye contact with people, I'm waving, I'm talking to people, I felt so good. And it's amazing to me, I love that I still have that belt. That's because insane, it's such a nice belt. Like, I, it looks brand new. And people it wonder all the time why I, I always dress up, because I remember when I didn't have a chance to, and I remember the difference it made for me emotionally feeling like I looked good walking down the street for the first time in years. It was like five years since I had gotten new clothes. And that was, maybe not five years, probably four years. But like that much at once though. Yeah, scary. and I had a full new outfit and new pants and everything. And I think um, it probably showed in the, the YouTube work I did and I started to get more known on YouTube and then I started getting paid by YouTube and I could get a, a new wardrobe every six months and it was amazing. So yeah, uh, it may just seem like a belt, but for me it's more than a belt. It's the belt. It's the belt. I am more hair than man at this point, both on my head and, and down my face, uh, but I'm fighting through it. I'm fighting through the look. Because literally two people said go for it. So here we go. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching today's vlog though. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, OUTROTATION!